I hope you have the soft lens on. So Helen, Helen. Uh, how do I tell you which is which? Or do I say Helen or Helen? I Helen Marie. Helen, Helen, Helen Marie and I'm Helen, Helen Teresa. Okay. <laughs> okay um, so yeah. So I was saying to uh, Helen, Helen Teresa that what we're looking for is many kind of stories, like anecdotes, you know, mm -hmm. as opposed to like facts and figures. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, work away, work away. We're just having the chat here. Uh, so what we're looking for is just. Just going up to. I want to We're looking for just stories from your own life. Yeah, your and growing own life. up in it, yeah. So, will we start with your earliest memories of growing up here? My earliest memories growing up here would be going out for. You'd be too young to remember. Georgia O'Donoghue's um, barber shop was. There was a woman there called Mrs. Coffee, and you'd go out and get the milk. But it wasn't in bottles, she just, I still wanted the job. I wanted her to give me a job of just taking the milk up out of the churns and putting them into jugs. That would be you now one of mine sent out for the milk. So that was like the dairy? Yeah, yeah. And you get country butter, which I never liked, but country butter and that. But she had just those big metal churns. And she used to have this little thing on a handle and it'd be on the edge of the dish. Put it down, put the milk into the jug. I want the job of doing that off with love, yeah. That would be my kind of earlier, or my earliest, I suppose before that would be going to the cinema with my grandfather, with our grandfather, Da Burry, as we used to call him, and uh, taking us to the cinema, Mary and myself. A uh, wonderful, wonderful man. Which cinema was um, The Savoy. He was a wonderful, kind, gentle, giant of a man. Lovely, lovely man. And very good to us. And what was the earliest film you remember? Oh my God, it was probably, probably Roy Rogers, those kind of kid, those kind of um, B-movie type yeah. things. You know, it would be the matinee we'd go to. It'd be like two films, would it be or one? Two. Two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, where would you be sitting in the cinema? In the, the cheap seats, of course. So can help people what the cheap seats are, because they might know. You'd go in through the front, the little hard seats. There were, what was it been then to go? About three, three pence, three pence yeah. to go. And uh, my grandfather would have the little apples in his pocket. He'd probably be able to get enough of Maisie Thornberry or somebody or other in his pocket. And then if we wanted to drink, the, the, the walk and shop, as they so called, around the poor lady that would be going around with the tray. Mm -hmm. And you used to have little cartons of orange. And he'd get one for me and Mary, Mary and myself. And then when they were empty, um, he walked down through as this is called the pit, where it was the posh seats. Mm -hmm. And um, he'd walk down, open the door, and bring him back out to the little shop. And the boy, <laughs> he couldn't bear to throw him on the the, the floor, the ground. But um, wonderful memories and happy memories, okay. you know. And, and at, in the cinema, like, would it be would it be crowds at it, or would it be like the matinees? Ah, oh, there would be. Yeah, there would be. There would have been a lot of people. But then we went day and night to the cinema with Esther, my aunt Esther, with our aunt Esther. But there would have been a lot of um, of kids there, you know. And I was saying to Helen later on about just how big, I mean, there were a lot of children in every family at that time. Mm -hmm. So, like, what were the kind of numbers? I mean, what was, what was your memory of on the street like? Um, well, there was only four of us. There was six of ye. There was the Powers, and I think there was about Nellie Power and Chrissy and them. There was, must have been about ten of them in it. Mm -hmm. Doherty didn't have a big family. Um, and then there was the place up in the where the field was up in um, up in the uh, up in the field, as we call it, before the houses were built, where Teddy Madigan lives now, and those people. There was the field. There was. Um, there was little houses up at the side. Do you know where uh, Powers, Davy Power lived? Up at the side there, there was a little, um, little, 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 little tiny houses with half doors um, that you got to, and the floors were clay. Mm. There was no um, like cement floors or that. Um, there, and there was a, a tenement and um, would have been kind of built. It was opposite uh, Mrs. Saunders' house. Mm. There was a kind of a tent. Christy Begelty lived in it. Mm. And Lulu Power and them lived up, and the Powers lived up in the the little place we're playing in the field, but calling the Maisie Power and that. Mm 
mm. married to Wally, Wally, what's him from Alexander Street? Wally Norris. Who were the Norrises that lived in Alexander Street? So there'd be lots and lots of children. Oh, God. Yeah. 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 Lots yeah. and lots of children. Because everyone then, it was like um, a commune. It was like, like a, a living in a commune. Mm. Everybody looked after everybody. Yeah. And people looked after everybody's children. If you were playing or anything, your parents didn't worry because there was someone around. The doors, front doors of everyone's house in Corrigan were always open. Same down on the terrace where we were. Doors would be always open. There were, um, uh, there would be always lots of children. I mean, you could actually play in a road. There wasn't much traffic then, I suppose. But, I mean, you could actually play on the road without anyone worrying about whether you were knocked over or you were, you know. And everybody, I, I always think it was like, well, uh, later in life, I said, it's like living in a commune. Mm -hmm. Do you know, because everybody looked after everybody's children. I remember being lined up outside Mrs. Saunders' house. And if she gave one of them, Pat Flynn, a slice of bread and jam, all the children lined up and she'd cut the, what do you call it, and she'd give us all a piece. Mm. Or she'd be doing Ben and uh, Walter's dinners. And if there's sausage on the man, she'd hand to me out on a fork. <laughs> she'd be doing Ben, they were dockers. You know, ben, ben and Walter. She'd um, give us all a, a bit. Do you know, everyone was like, everyone was like that. You know, you get a bit in everyone's house. Yeah. You know? And there were wonderful times, absolutely. There was something called the Narrow Lane. Do you remember that, Helen? I don't really remember that. The Narrow that. Lane, that was yeah. up um, where the Mercy Compton School is now. No, on, on our street there, where the, the, the street was so narrow that they said they could shake hands across the... Well, the that must have been up where... Um, or I'm saying Maisie Power and those things. Yeah, lived. those, yeah, yeah. Yalla Power and them. They yeah. all, up there, that there were little, little half doors. Like, mm. you know, the, you see the tops of Moat would be playing with the girls and playing around in the field and the um, little half doors. I'd say that's where they were, yeah, they were talking yeah. about now. Yeah. And like, well, just from your old memories, just what were, what were the games that you played on the street? Shop. Yeah. Ball, playing the ball against the wall. Yeah. Ropes. And um, I'm talking about when I was a little child, and I'd be kind of the the elder lemon here. <laughs> the elder Helen. The what? The elder, the elder Helen. Helen. But um, there was um, we'd just be playing in the field. Yeah. And that's the and thing. And you make I'd, a little shop. I'd still refer to the lane as up the field. Up the field. Go up the field. Because when we were small children, which we still call the new houses, weren't there. They, they were built about 1959, 1960. And we always referred to going up the field. And, you know, when, when my father was a, a child and my mother, they had um, street leagues and soccer, and they were played up the field, and the goalposts would be jumpers or whatever. And, you know, it, it was a great place for games. A friend of mine brought me home from work one time, and she said to me, she grew up on a farm, and she said to me, Helen, where did you play when you were a child? We played here and just was like, you know, a wonderland, mm. wasn't it? Well, All the yeah. things we'd have. Like Helen said, we had the, um, the skipping games, right? And uh, we were trying to think of some of the, the rhymes and the teddy bear, teddy bear, tip the ground, mm. teddy bear, teddy bear, turn, turn around. around all of these and it goes on for about four things you had to do all this stuff while you were skipping and we had all in together girls never mind the, the weather, weather girls. girls put your hat <laughs> and coat on out. tell your mother you, you won't, won't be long yeah you know these kind of games and all the children would be playing and hmm. the big lines hopping into the rope and out we had that and you know one of the the lovely things was swinging on the pole you hmm. know and that and you'd have some people were very adept at getting the ropes up, you know, they're like the cowboys with the lassoes oh, they were, and they yeah, got they it up were. real quickly. Some of us, like myself, couldn't do it at all. But then we'd swing on it and we'd be twirling around, swinging and that. And then they'd and what, catch the end and pull, pull it out and yeah, swing it this yeah. way. Oh, what about the two-ball game? Because that was the girls. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What we you played call that? that? Just, well, just playing ball. Play ball, yeah, okay. yeah. But we had that rhyme plainy mrs. mrs brown plainy mrs brown plainy 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 mrs brown then it was over then it was under then it was dashy then it was upsy then it was all of these things go on forever yeah. and uh those were the kind of and nooks things. you mentioned nooks yeah. that came on that was later like i would have been about I suppose when those when the foundry men started bringing those out mm. giving them to kids to play it was um 
It would have been that a bit older. We used to play with stones. Yeah, yeah that's that's. You know, they were they were posh. They had the nuts. No, I didn't. <laughs> we had the stones. We were, they were posh. But my mother was very good at that. She was. So she yeah. obviously had played it when when she yeah. was young. Yeah. And I, oh, I, I thought it was a warfare game, but it's not. It's, it's not. It's worldwide. It's international. Is yeah, it? It is. I it's didn't actually know worldwide. That now. And I used to think that it was called nuts, coming from knock, the Irish for stone. But no, seemingly it was that in other places it was played with the knock bone of sheep. And that's why I was a bit disappointed, but I still think it was stones. But, um, we used to play with stones, yeah, the small we did, stones. And, yeah. Yeah. I think sailors used to play it. I think that's where they brought it all over the world. Sailors yeah. used to play it on boats. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we used to have logging. Do you remember logging? Mm. Um, that they'd have a big rope, I suppose it came from the skipping and someone at each end and they chase you through the thing. I mean, would you chase out the corner, down the thing and then when they grab you, you were kind of wrapped in, the, in rope, the rope. Yeah. And then you were pulled so that they'd go and check the other ones. And as someone said, we'd be dragged all over the place, which you would. So that mm. was logging. And um, uh, Chinese marbles. Yeah. yeah well, that marbles. was mostly for the boys. Boys were the boys marbles. Game. Boys yeah, game now, you know. Boys were the marbles. But, um, I remember we used to swing on the pole at May Easy Corner's house. Yeah. house yeah. We'd May swing around there and also there was one up further in the field. And one uh, at Nelly Powers, up, one at in yeah. Stephen Street. Yeah. And we'd swing there but I was always nervous of dogs and we used to say, and the dogs got their full title, Prince Cavanya, who was Cavanya's dog. <laughs> he was a little white terrier, do you remember him? And I was terrified of him because he was a yappy little terrier. And then there was Sandy Sanders, who was a much quieter older <laughs> dog lying at the, lying at the door. And he, was, yeah, he was yeah, quiet, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we had all of those things. And then, like... You had the shop was my favourite. The shop, tell about the shop. My favourite shop in the lane, especially if there's after being rain. <laughs> we'd take all the dog leaves and they'd be rashers, mm -hmm. pile them up like in a shop, put a stone on them to hold them and someone would have a, a shoe box. We'd have that as a weighing scales and you'd have cans and you'd be taking up the water. I was always Mrs. Coffee. <laughs> I always had the thing about the milk. Yes. It was warm and pieces of china, you'd find china cups that would be up in the field and um, that was the money. Yeah, it was called Cheney's. Cheney's, yeah, they used to say, yeah. Cheney's. And um, that was like the money. Oh, and tonight, the, the playing the shop, yeah, like, you know? Yeah. Out of yeah. nothing. Yeah. You know, out of and rubbish and dirt. Yeah. You know, that was there, you just. Had great fun. Great. It. it was absolutely wonderful. Yeah. I, I, I always feel sorry you now for the kids that they don't have those things anymore. Yeah. I'd be telling my grandchildren about them. And there was a bit in the muck, Nana. Yeah. And, I'd, and, you, and I said, I'll tell you a better one. We used to go home and eat our dinner, we wouldn't even be asked to wash our hands. <laughs> That's it. We wouldn't even be asked. No, they'd have to be sterilised. Yeah. And then there was a gap between Burke's house, which was number four, and Murphy's house, which was number five. And we used to refer to it as the back, back of the, the pump. pump. Sure, you must remember that, and, Colin. Uh, seemingly there was a water pump there. At I remember the water pump yeah, there. I don't really remember it, but... but um, Youngster. Uh, <laughs> but we used to have little concerts and oh, shows we did, there. Yeah. And they put a kind of a, a rope Cartner, or a, a thing and, and they put it blankets or something up. over it and then you'd be queuing up to, to go in. And um, we didn't oh, always play. But no, sometimes, yeah. not sometimes, not always. Sometimes, not always. It's always. time there'd be a charge. Remember Bobby Sheridan we'd charged in just one time. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> but I think um, we we just go in and then people would sing and people would kind of act out little bits of things. things. And, and it was just great yeah. fun, wasn't well, it? And dance. The, dance, yeah. And, uh, and even, you know, my sister was 10 years younger than me. She remembers that kind of thing happening with them when it was much more modern mm. for them. But um, And you could have yeah. a great show because Cheyenne used to come in. Do you remember Cheyenne Martin Murray? He works in the corporation. Mm -hmm. But um, the fellas around the corner, the Burke, Michael Burke and all those, you know, the older boys, I Paddy Burke, all those older boys, they used to call him Cheyenne. But he could do Elvis. And we'd be in a maze, we'd be all clapping up, and we'd be doing Elvis to dance, and you know, you know, we'd be doing all that Elvis dancing. It was wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, uh, God, I was going to say something now, but sorry, <laughs> my head is gone. Um, well, yeah, just about school then. Where did um, where would all the kids go to school? Which which schools were the the norm? <coughs> De La Salle, Stephen Here, Street. Yeah, Stephen yeah, Street. Stephen Street. Yeah. Um, the St. Joseph's down at the, on Parnell Street, mm -hmm. which when I showed to my one time, they thought I was re retired. Well, it probably was a bit, but they said, you went to the special needs school, ma'am. And I said, it wasn't a special needs school, then it was the Sisters of Charity. 
Okay, so that was, uh, was a girl school? Yeah. Oh, well, well, if the first babies yeah. and that the boys, boys and girls, no, small, the sm yeah, the yeah. small children would be. And then in yeah. first class, the boys went yeah. to Salisbury probably, and we went. And what about the Mara School? Do many people go to Mara School? Or Paddy? Paddy, and that would have been older now, okay. you know. Um, Paddy, Paddy got a scholarship to go yeah, there because they were the in this. They went to school in the the yeah. school that was down in St Patrick's. Patrick's. Oh, okay. yeah. They went yeah. there and he got a scholarship to go to. So that, that was the uh, Christian Brothers? Yeah. 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 Hello. How are you doing? Okay. And, um, so, so that's why they went to the man school after that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He got a scholarship to go there, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah. To and, go to. and the girls, is the Sisters of Charity, was that the presentation? No. No. They were okay. a different order of nuns. Okay. But it, um, that closed, the Sisters of Charity closed as a, it was called a secondary top. So it wouldn't have had the full range of secondary school subjects and I went there until intercert and then it closed and then the principal of the school suggested that we go to the presentation. Okay. Yeah. And then some girls went to the Mercy. Some girls, some girls went, went to the Mercy, yeah. 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 Okay, and then what about, um, I mean this is kind of probably more for boys but gangs. And I'm just, the only way in every area there was kind of a place, you didn't go beyond a certain place. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like the, if you're played in Cardine or Stephen Street, you wouldn't go up around Bally Bricken or you wouldn't. Do you know what I mean? Was there I any never, that kind of, I never, no, I yeah. never remember anything like that about okay. gangs now. Okay. But I just remember the, the, the boys, the, the brothers in my family, they, they played on what they call the green. And my sister remembers that as well, but I, I don't remember First that because when, I, when we were growing up, it was the field. But the green was a, a field, I suppose, at the back of the new houses, and they would climb up on oh, the jail wall yeah. and over mm -hmm. there, or go in through the gardens of the mm -hmm. of the new houses to get out on this green. Mm -hmm. And they they had um, had a you know a group of boys who were in 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 a gang, I suppose. But there was some sort of initiation oh, thing, I and um, <laughs> or Michael, <laughs> you're but. but um, and you know, and then, our, uh, Jimmy Ryan and Jerry Long, yeah, and Denny Flynn, Burnham and with the, uh, <laughs> Denny Flynn burned him with marks sticks on their bats. And you know, like, what happened to you? And this was seemingly one of the initiation <laughs> things. There was, <laughs> or they'd be in over a year back. <gasps> Huh. And um, they'd have a big rope and they'd be swinging and your mother would come out and she'd cut the rope. <laughs> <laughs> so it was yeah. more of a, a boys <coughs> thing. Yeah, okay. that was more of a boys thing. And what was the, just about parents, what was the parents' attitude to kids? I mean, did you think, I mean, okay, in comparison to today, I suppose. Um, well, like Helen said, I suppose there was there was more of a freedom, really. They weren't really worried about us so much being out, and we all mixed together, and all the people on the street, the adults, kind of looked out for the things, and were free to give out to you and all of that. And give you a box well, in the year if, if they, they if thought they you were out of yeah, line yeah. or did, you know? A neighbours a neighbor would do it. Yeah, okay. yeah, that yeah. Was, and that was considered okay, and, you know, they always felt you had to be respectful to those oh, adults yeah, and you yeah, wouldn't, yeah, yeah. you know, be cheeky or nasty to yeah. them and that kind of thing. And um, I, I'd say I, the freedom, I suppose, is one of, one of the big things that yeah. they weren't nervous of us being no, around at no. street or doing or anything, scared anything of like being that. Around yeah. or... But like, you, you would be expected to go to the church and you would be expected, you know, to maybe be in the choir or, you know, that kind of thing. And school there was no such thing as complaining about school it, the idea was if if you did something wrong and you were got slapped, the hands leathered yeah. off you well you must have deserved, deserved it because the nuns or the, the teachers wouldn't slap you unless you did something you know yeah, yeah you know yeah. And that was it yeah and you wouldn't tell when you went home mm -hmm. you must have done something wrong to warrant getting a wallet mm -hmm. but uh, and, and did you as children did you think that was fair I didn't think about it, that's what no, that was the norm. Think about okay. it, yeah. That was the norm. Was, Green and our being gay to your dad. Self and Liz, poor Elizabeth, the, the Kiyos lived in, you know, Francie Kiyos, his mm. sister, they all lived in Stephen Street. They were, Elizabeth was my school, was one of my school pals. And um, she, uh, myself and her and Sheila Sullivan, the, we'd always, we'd, you know, we'd, we'd put out around the wall to do your spellings or to be asked your spellings and that. And um, you know, someone, you wouldn't be your turn, but you saying something like that. oh my god you'd be called up and you'd be feathered <laughs> and I'm talking about uh -huh. really hurt 
I'm sure that was the, there was the times we didn't, we wouldn't go home and say you did it because you'd be told, she must have did something, the holy nuns wouldn't. Um, do you know that, like, you know? And the other thing always amused me, and I couldn't understand it because you couldn't ask if you were with your, my mother or my aunt Esther and that, and they met a person, they worked with our person that they knew, an ad, another adult, and they said, oh, hello, Mary, and you said, oh, hi, Mary, or hello, Mary. They'd look down at you and say, did you go to school with that woman? I never understood it as a small child. And I'd say, no. You'll call her Miss or Mrs. You don't call her by her first, no, name. first name. No, that's... And I think that's a sad thing too today because there's... I don't think, I don't think there's a lot of manners put on kids now. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. We were always, please, thank you. You'd be... You know, that was... You, that was it, that's where you're brought up. You said please and thank you and, you know, you didn't um, sit in on adult conversations or and ears on the bushes. <laughs> that's what they say, ears on the bushes. Who would they say about children? Yeah, if there was someone, a child walked in, well, um, say my mother, my Aunt Esther, or uh, Katie yeah. and that, Helen's mum and that, they were sitting around chat, just having a chat, and a child walked in around, and you've kind of hung around like her, you know? Ears on the bushes. <laughs> and they stopped talking. They stopped talking. You'd have to leave the room. <laughs> they were speaking. You know. Yeah. yeah. And what about uh, part-time jobs? Was there such a thing as part-time jobs for you growing up? No. Okay. So no. I got right. married. I didn't know how to cook. I didn't know you had to pay bills. <laughs> that's as true as God. That's yeah. everything was done for us. By your parents. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, when I was fourteen, I worked in Woolworths for for a summer. Okay. You know and. Um, yeah, it was grand. I enjoy that, and you know, a lot of, there were a lot of older women there, and um, I just got the job for the summer, and that was it. And what was that like? In Woolworths. Yeah. Um, it was lovely. I I enjoyed. You know, it was like playing shop to me in some way. <laughs> 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 you know, settling out the things and all of that kind of thing. But um, I remember. Except your hands had to be clean. Your hands had to be oh, definitely, but I, rem I remember one time Mr. Caulfield, who was the, the manager there, and I was on a kind of a cake counter, and this lady asked for, you know, a big cake and like a Swiss roll, and they were in boxes, and I took out the bag, and I put in the big cake and the Swiss roll, and she said to me, oh, no, I won't take the big cake. So I took out the big cake, and the Swiss roll was left in it, but the bag was about this size, and Mr. Caulfield came, came down to me, and he said, um, look, you're costing the company money. That cake would fit in a smaller bag and look one, two, three, four, five times so I was a bit embarrassed about that but um, no it was lovely and we had the little green coats on us and all of that and, and we had to wear tight, we had to wear, well there would have been stockings I suppose were they at the time, you couldn't go bare legged into work or anything like that. You yeah. said everything didn't you? Well, Sold everything yeah, yeah. From a nine to a needle, is that what they yeah, used to say? Yeah. Right. You used to sell records too, didn't you? No, I don't. Think I don't did. remember no, the records no, no, no. now. I don't remember. No, I don't that. think they ever did but, sell um, records. Yeah, but but maybe earlier they had. You know, I'm I'm talking about now the '67 that kind of time. You know, but um, yeah. And then, uh, what about like for example, dating, boys and girls? Where would they go? Where would they meet each other? Dances, that like that. Can you remember any of that kind of stuff? You'll have to answer that. And you're the expert. <laughs> <laughs> Give it over you. But um, no, I what you call, We just went out. We just we just went for walks. Went for to the cinema. There was no going to pubs. I remember one time I was engaged to Frankie, and you know my Frankie. I was engaged to Frankie, and I sitting around having our tea or something, and uh, Esther said to me. Um, but where are you going tonight? And I was just making a joke, and I said, oh, we're going out to Tremor to a pub. And my uncle stood up from the table, Paddy and Josie, and stood up from the table and said, not on your life. If I ever come across you in a pub, I don't care how much I embarrass you, I will horse you out. So you couldn't go to because if, if you were, well, I did go. Yeah, understand. Naturally, being the good girl, I did go. But <laughs> here you'd be, by a door opened. Because they would come up and march and pull me by the neck and put me outside, you know? Because it wasn't kind of a, a drinking society then. It wasn't mm. a sort of... Well, it was probably men's, a men's activity. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. When yeah. did you go out on what? Was it Saturday or Sunday night? I can't remember which was... was it, do you used to come with the husbands too? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I was, that was... That'd be like Helen's Kitty and Tommy now. Yeah. Going, yeah. you know? 
But yeah. we didn't, myself and Frank, you know, didn't. We thought we were so cool. <laughs> and, and if you went to the cinema on a date, then would you go to the posh seats? Would you go up, up market a bit? Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Oh, God, of course. <laughs> you'd have nice sweets. No, not so much the sweets. We're doing too much court and kissing the court and <laughs> bothered with the sweets. <laughs> Uh -huh. It's the only place you could do it, I suppose. Because uh -huh. I, I remember one time, Frankie was about, about 12, I shouldn't be saying this, but it was about 12 o'clock, and my Aunt Esther was, um, I was living with my Aunt Esther, and she shouted downstairs, Frankie O'Reilly, have you any home to go to? She was in bed. Um, Mrs. Bowes, do you remember Mrs. Bowes, Patty Bowes? Mrs. Bowes said that she sent him Father Ryan, Father Ryan up and that I should put a red, the woman never said it at all, a red light outside my door that they saw Frankie O'Reilly leaving my house at, at 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> and um, she was, your mother is on her own, she was saying to Frankie. You go home now to your mother. When I went up, she was, I said, how dare you? I said, embarrass me. I said like that. She got the paper. I'll give you that answer. <laughs> because they, we were reared in a family that didn't believe in hit, slapping. My mother now would give us a slap. But Paddy and Josie, and they'd say, oh, Kathleen, don't. Don't slap the children. Don't slap. They never, ever slapped my uncles or my aunt has never said, but she'd get the paper up. I'll tell you, I'll give embarrassment saying about Mrs. Bowes. And I'm asking Mrs. Bowes, I said tomorrow, did she say that? She wouldn't, but Esther be saying that. You know, she'd be shut down. But we had, there were innocent times. But wonderful times. Can you remember all the shops that were around here? What were the shops around Patrick's? Yeah, there was. Um, Mylands, as you know, Mrs. Myland. There was Murphy's, Gerrit Nugent's, Henry Malai, the butchers, um, O'Donoghue, the barber, Teddy Gilfoyle. And what was, oh, what was that? You should remember that. What was across the road from here, from your pub? No, Breslin's. Yes. Yeah, but I'm just saying, what was across the road? Remember, it was Dr. Welch was in there one time, the doctor. Yeah, before what that, was there? Was, um, Mrs. Thornberry. Mrs. Thornberry. Oh, yeah, Maisie Thornberry. Yeah. They had a shop. Uh, Sinnott sat in the shop. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Evelyn O'Keefe. Evelyn O'Keefe. Pardon? They have a shop across the road. Oh, Jodie Mullally's them powers. I think so, yeah. Yeah, Mrs. Thornberry. Uh, Mrs. Thornberry, she and was. And then there was the, uh, the, the, we used to call him the dummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there and he mended shoes, didn't he? And there was Miss Larkin. Miss Larkin the, selling the second hand comics. comics. Oh. Right. Do you ever remember Miss um, Larkin? Yeah. And I know when when you know my parents were young, that was one way of getting some money to go to the cinema, to go up and sell a comic to to Mrs. Mrs. Larkin. Larkin. Yeah. yeah. And, it was and we still about went up bottles, bring bottles to get money yeah. for the cinema as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. There was we only got the bottles. bottles. The only bottles yeah. we ever got was if my mother was bringing. I've seen it to you earlier on, yeah. bringing us to the dispensary, um, for our iron tonics at uh, what you call it, <laughs> for the winter. Go up to Mrs. Breslin and ask her for a lemonade bottle and a cork. And you come, Mrs. Breslin. Can Mummy said, can we have a lemonade? Of course you can. A cork and a lemon for to go down to the dispensary to get the tonics. Uh, so our teeth went black from the way we had that much iron in our <laughs> systems. I swear to God, I don't mean decayed, but they turned. They the colours. Yeah, yeah. be like someone out drinking red wine <laughs> from from that um, from taking so much yeah, tonics and that. Yeah. Yeah. Mother, so they thought they were doing the best yeah. they could for us. And they were. They yeah. did. Yeah. When I think of them now, there was the children, even my own grandchildren, all these allergies they have to this, that and the other. We never had allergies. Yeah. We never. I never remember a child with asthma. I know one a child. Yeah. Apart from poor Lily Holohan, but Lily didn't have asthma, she had a, a lung problem. Um, but um, I never remember children. We played in dirt and muck. And uh, another thing was lovely to you while it's in my head, going up to the fair on Ballybricken and um, seeing the sheep and the, the men, the people had let you um, hold the little baby chicks. You know, I used to think we could bring them home with this, but I never thinking that they would turn into chickens, <laughs> but that they'd always say little yellow fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> yellow fluffy chicks. Yeah, yeah. 
And we had one or two occasions talking about the fair of, you know, the, the cattle would be brought up at Patrick Street here to go up to the fair in Valley Brecon. And on two occasions, I remember it in my life, one of the cows broke away and ran in the lane, right? And there was a, a big scatter of children and all the women all trying to find where are the children, get the children in, get the yeah. children in, you know, and we couldn't find Tony, my, my brother, and we were panicking and saying, God, you know, he'll be trampled on or something, but he was actually asleep on a chair and we hadn't realised. But um, yeah, that was going up to the fair. Another the one animals. escaped, John Patrick. Remember the vet came and put poor animals down. We were all crying. The poor cow was put down, and the, the what you call it. And the horses, men coming up with the dray horses. Um, they used to, do you know where we lived in the, on the terrace? They, um, they used to come in, there was a big grey horse. Um, Mr. O'Brien used to drive, I think they had stables up. Do you know where the, what do they call people called? That are up there now in in the terrace, the top of the terrace. What are they called? Jehovah Witnesses. The Jehovah Witnesses. They were stables. Okay. Yeah. And um, they used to put the, the CIE used to um, I was going to say park the horses, <laughs> but the horses just that's where they used to keep the horses. <laughs> and <coughs> excuse me, Mr. O'Brien had let us sit up on the. He used to deliver stuff for herons and you know the shops big parts. But he used to let us sit up on the um, back of the thing while he was bringing it in to. Yeah. To put the heart, and it could, we could rub the horse, you know. Lovely, lovely. And, and also around here, too, there was different industries like Swift's furniture. Oh, there was, and yeah. Herons and do you want to say a bit about shows, that? herons. Yeah. Um, fielding down there. Oh, Welsh Welsh fielding. Oh. <laughs> Welsh and Fielding. She was a good customer in Welsh and Fielding. Welsh and all the latest fashions. Oh, Welsh and Fieldings, <laughs> I loved it. I said to Frankie, oh, the, st the style, the fashion. I say, Frankie, uh, what you are, or whatever, I say, um, I saw a dress up in Welsh and Fielding's window and um, he vied for me. Mm. Or else, if he was going with Eamon Long, he used to go over for weekends. My mother wouldn't let me go. She said, what? I was engaged. What? Go on your own so, with, uh, with Frankie? Not so sure. Oh, you wouldn't be allowed the priest to be brought up to you. But Frankie used to bring back stuff from Carnaby Street mm. at the time. So, um, lovely beads and dresses and yeah. things, yeah. 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 times. And you know, the, I remember the Fields shop as well. And there Fields, was lovely do you remember Fields? There. At the end, they used to yeah. sell the habits. If someone died, yeah. we sent down for a habit. Mm. For to dress the body. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. they sell yeah. habits. Uh, school shirts, wasn't it? And they used to do um, sheets and all that type of thing. And I don't mm. think that they do curtains. I don't I think remember they the did. curtains now. Go on, yeah. that. No, but I no, I was just saying there and Tony, wasn't her name Tony? Yeah. And Tony Veal. Like yeah. at that stage, Tony's name for a girl was very unusual, you know, and I used to think oh it was, it was really, really exotic. exotic or something. Yeah. She looked lovely. She were here in a bond mm. and they were lovely but, the it, but going to Mylan's shop, Mrs. Mylan and, and Billy, her husband were there, but she used to have a case with Jacob's biscuits in it and there was glass in the front and I used to love that. You'd be looking in and you could see all the the biscuits, biscuits. you know. And um, and Billy then <coughs> cutting the ice cream. Remember Helen we were saying Our that? Esther, he was say. real quick at doing the yeah, he was real quick Quite at Mrs. doing that. She was be fascinated. And yeah. Mrs. Moylan, the wafers, the yeah, wafers, the wafers. yeah. And 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 Mrs. Moylan at Christmas time, she might send over a little box of milk tray or something to Mam or that, you know. And then Jared Newton's and Jared Newton's he give you groceries. Anything. But as a child, if you were sent down for for groceries, he'd always give you a sweet. And usually it was a chocolate orange sweet and so be pushing each other to go down and get the, the <laughs> vegetables so that we might get the sweet. Yeah. Could, yeah. could you talk a little bit about old people because at that time when you were small the old people used to, some of the old women used to have shawls. And oh stuff. they did yeah. 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 Did, yeah. Mrs Sanders now she was and uh, she was in the, she used to, we used to be all lined up, she pierced all her ears. I got killed for getting mine done I, with, with Anna Mack and Nora Sheridan and those, Mary Burke. Yeah. And um, she just put a cork to the back of your ear, and um, I didn't know. I just wanted my end on, and she'd stick the needle in and pull it out. The other side, you'd have a little bit of wool, or thread, wool kind of it was, mm. to keep them open. And then I got killed. Then when I go home for getting it done, yeah. but um, she used to do all that. She was a kind, lovely mm. lady, Mrs. She was a kind, Catty Macdonald. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, she, she also had the shawl. No, I oh, don't remember Cathy with one, shawl. did you? No, I don't. I so don't. just Mrs. Sanders, you remember? Right? Yeah, she yeah, was really she old. And um, the, shawl. the O'Maras. But I don't remember them having shawls. Do you and Nellie and... And Cathy. And Cathy. And, and Esther, our aunt, used to wear a shawl yeah. sometimes. Particularly when we were going to the, the cinema, you know. She she found it comfortable, I'd say, yeah. and all of that. And was was there a Robinson woman that used to come and have a shawl? Can't remember that. Our grandfather's cousin. Yeah, Mary. Oh, Mary Brown. Brown. Yeah, she yeah, used to she wear had one. A shawl. And yeah. they had their good ones. Yeah. And they're, you know, and they were great because they used to put their baskets or whatever their yeah, shopping thing indeed. around, and yeah. it was a great, great comforter if you were when you were a small child, and you were sick, and they put them around and put you away in it, yeah. and they drop you and they'd um, rock you and sing to you, yeah. you know. But way before that now, um, like it would be my great-grandmother, say, um, they had the maths. Do you remember them talking about that? And in, on four houses in our street, in, in the first house, there was Ma Mara. And then in our house, there was Ma Flynn. And she used to sit outside with her shawl and with the crutch in a, in a chair. And I think we used to do, tell what's what to, to everybody. And then the shirt was, I don't think, had anyone. But then in the Burks was Ma Whalen. And they were known as the Maz, and they were, um, you know, they were the bosses, really, you know, and that kind of thing. But like, they were dead when I yeah. when I was uh, was uh, living there, really. But, um, do you remember uh, doing the round? Or I think that's what they called it. Where people used to walk in night time around the town. Oh, the oh, would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. What was that called? Was it doing the round? I can't remember what they used to call it, but yeah. could you just tell people about it because they might yeah. know about it. Well, that'd be more our parents' time yeah. as well, wouldn't and it? And we'd be brought out. There was, do you know, like you'd be brought out. Or you'd have your your Sunday coat on, and it was mostly of a Saturday. Mm -hmm. And especially when they would change the windows in the bigger shops, shops. Kelly's on the quay, and Shaw's, and those kind of things. If we just walk around and look in the windows, and you know, and the discuss, you wouldn't be able to buy anything that'd be in there. Our families at the time, but you'd be love looking at them. Just have them arranged and decorated mm. beautifully. And around Christmas time, mm. we'd be saying, "Can I get that?" And yeah, yes. But <laughs> yes, when you got your little thing, you never said. But I sent off my letter, and there was a dozen things that we could never afford on it. And then, but you wouldn't think you got your little, whatever mm. doll, mm. Um, a little shop. And as our my our Esther, and this we'd be myself and Mary be up at four in the morning. Waiting for Santa, <laughs> and she'll say, and there was sweets stuck to her behinds at six o'clock in the morning. There's the little shops that we'd be playing in the bed, myself and Mary, with the little shops. Mm -hmm. And the dolls, Helen's mother used to knit all the stuff for the dolls because dolls didn't come in my time with clothes. Well, I suppose they did if you, you were a wealthier person, but they're just plain little dolls. And Kitty used to make the bonnets and the little, um, little boleros and little dresses. And out of a shoe box, I remember I was still out, and she made um, a carry cot from a shoe box and she had it all lined and um, little uh, knitted little pillow and little cover and little the strings in it that she carried around. Yeah, the yeah. Yeah. Um, I know you're kind of painting a picture of it being quite nice and all that and stuff, but, but was there a situation where, I mean, would people be conscious <coughs> of the fact of where they came in the social strata? Like, that some people had more money and some people had less money and all that kind of stuff. No, not not when I was growing up because yeah, around this no because around this area everyone was in the same boat. Everyone was poor. Mm. You know, my mother was widowed widowed at thirty nine with four children. Everyone around her and mm. everyone helped mm. each other. For Christmas, Helen's mother had knit cardigans and jumpers for um for us. Mm. Mm. You know, and I found people were, were helped each other. Mm. You know? If there's children going to be born, neighbours would be called. Your mother, even, would be called. Do you know what I mean? Neighbours would be called to go in while the woman was having a baby. Or I th they were... Well, I can only speak for where I lived. Yeah. 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 People... There was no... I never remember saying, oh, they're poor, or those yeah. people are... And I'd be the same. You know, as a, as a child, we were never conscious that people were poor or you know didn't have food or their house wasn't good or never conscious no. of that. as an adult <laughs> you I would have heard oh you know that family this and that family that but as a child never conscious no. of that and no. like Helen said people would help each other out yeah. and you know share things and we just played with everybody do you know yeah. but no there's but no class about, distinction what, about what happened to the boys 
I was an adult when oh, that okay. happened to him. I was an adult. I had. I was married then. Okay. You know when they were went off to. Um, you see, when we, I suppose when we were young, we were always threatened. We were sent up the river, right? Yeah. That was the trend. Yeah. We were told we were put into the Good Shepherd. Yeah, we were going to be put we're into the Good Shepherd. We're going to go into the Good Shepherds. Yeah, yeah. Which was the. for the. the orphans, orphans. Orphan. Magdalene. Magdalene. Magdalene, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 But My mother said that. Oh, well. Father Ryan will come up and send the papers. You don't want to go out to the Good Shepherds. Yeah. And we never. We never you know, <coughs> they said that to us, and we just knew it was a place where things weren't comfortable. But we, ne we never thought, you know. They would have been bad to children, or no, or that kind of thing. They were in school with us. Sure. I mean, yeah, they were in school with us, and it was only as adults for us these things came up. But people would say, "Oh, you'd be going to the Good Shepherds and that, you know, um, if you if you were bold." And I never remember it about up the river, but it was the Good Shepherds. The Good Shepherds yeah. for us, yeah. 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 The boys were threatened we'd been sent up the, the river. river. To the, yeah. 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 the place in Clonmel. Oh, up in Fairy Hills. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where the boys went. Yeah. <laughs> you know, God yeah. help. Yeah. I'm sorry, any other older people that you can remember growing up that were old? Like, um, Muddy Hogan. Yes. Um, yeah, Muddy. Yeah. He was a gentleman, lovely little gentleman, yeah. you know, yeah. himself and, and Mr. Kelly. And poor Josie Hogan. If we were, um, she do all the alterations on clothes, like Mary's coat or what have you, would come down to me and the hem would be left down on your clothes. Uh, Josie Hogan would do that, Muddy's sister. Mm. And. Um, uh, there were characters, Tommy Black, yeah. the blacks that lived over there. They were, um, he was hilarious, mm. you know. And uh, who else would have been Mr. Kelly and Maudie, which we always called him Maudie and yeah. Josie, but we always said Mr. Kelly. Kelly yeah. oh, what, did Ma what did Maudie do? Maudie was a tinsmith. He used to, do you know, like people got leaks in their saucepans, you'd go over and he'd put a stopper in, as they called it. You know, he'd put a stopper in the sauce, but no one to be the most people about the house. <laughs> but he did all that and he yeah. fixed yeah. pots and pans and yeah. um, didn't he? he did that type that, of thing. Yeah. And in the in their little kitchen, um, uh, Josie had um, she had um, a her sewing machine and she'd be there'd be lots of people I'd go in there and Josie would be altering their clothes or like like I said, from passing down clothes to your siblings, they'd be she'd if take the hems off of things or turn up a hem on things and do you know that yeah. type of thing yeah. um, just uh, just you know we're, we're sitting in Breslin's old pub right? mm -hmm. and uh, just about just uh, I was saying to Helen during the week just about how everybody had their own song mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you remember any of people that used to sing a song or any of those any yeah uh, what you call um, Ben Sanders Autumn Leaves yeah yeah um, who else used to sing up here? This was a very interesting. Mrs. Park, Mrs. Park, Mrs. Maisie used to sing um, St. Trees of the Rose. Or, no, what is it? And paper Rose. Paper Roses. Paper Roses. And send me the paper. Taylor, that you dream on. That you dream on. Paddy Ryan used to sing 16 Ton, ton or whatever yeah. I get. Uh, that was his song. Um, Walter, I don't think, ever sang. I never remember Walter. Remember Maybe Walter. he did. Be just ben used to do the. The Autumn Leaves. Yeah. yeah. What, did, yeah. what did Tommy sing? You're my right. father. Now you see, my father wouldn't have sung in the pub kind of thing, but when we'd have little get-togethers in the house, again they would have their song. And my my father's song, one of them was "Sweet Sixteen, You know that the Fury made famous afterwards. And he used to say it was my mother and his song. And he used to sing a, a, an interesting one um, about. Um, if the, if the Blarney, Blarney Stone stood, stood out, out on Sydney, Sydney Harbour and Dublin town to Melbourne Blarney. came to stay. It was, a, you know, about the emigration Aaron's, thing. What was it? Aaron's sons, sons would, would never roam. roam. All the boys would, would stay, stay at home if we only had old Ireland over here. And, you know, coincidentally, his granddaughter now is settled in Australia just outside Melbourne. But that was another of Dad's songs. Mm. And he used to sing The Little Boy That Santa Claus Forgot. And I used to cry all the time. It's very, very sad. Uh, song and another song called "This is how this is how, this this is how you spell Ireland." It was about a, a, a thing and you know all the things about Ireland. And then uh, Esther, our aunt Esther, she had a song called "Trees," and uh, it was from a poem. And um, that was her song. And we, you know, when we have little get-togethers, we'd sing. But they, they wouldn't really do it in public. Um, no. My mother used to. She often sang the ones from from the films or from the musicals. You know, she'd have uh, the begin. You know, let them begin. 
in the beginning, that one. She she used to sing that. And can you remember any other selling? Oh, your mother sing all the she, uh, all, all the show things, songs. Songs, yeah. She yeah. she would do that. And Paddy had um, um, Catherine, wasn't that? Was no, one of his Paddy's aunt. was um, Little Grey Home in the, in the West. West. And that was yeah, another yeah. one. The Little Grey Home Josie used to do an Al's, a version of Al Jones. Jones and, yeah, <laughs> and Esther yeah. said, they don't stop singing. You see what I do? They don't stop it. They'd shout more than sing. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but it's funny that people were known yeah. for the song. And as you said, the people who would sing in, in the pub here in Breslin's, you know, on the street, even as children, yeah. we knew that would, that would be their song and yeah. that kind of thing, you know. It was your mum used to have a um, favourite film star too, I seem to remember. Yeah, those. Robert Mitchum. Robert Mitchum. <laughs> she loved Robert Mitchum. <laughs> she loved Robert Mitchum, <laughs> she did. Yeah. Yeah. She loved him. And my, yeah. and my Frank, and always... What she sorry. used to say was, um, you know, he was just really cool. And as we found out and later, he, he was walked. smoking a lot of dope. And she didn't know what happened. That <laughs> and he was, that's why he had that walk. walk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she did. And she loved the cinema as well. Uh, just about one question. Just about politics. Did, were you ever conscious of politics going up? Like as children, would you be conscious no. of, or no. there, that no. politics or that politics? No, only yeah. Esther would say, you know, they were Redmanites, wasn't yeah. it? That's and our yeah. grandfather, you know, his, his uh, brother in law was living with them, and he was. Um, uh, he was a devil era man, and mm, Esther would say, you know, when they'd be. My grandfather might be in bed, our grandfather would be in bed, and uh, he'd hear Willie saying something downstairs about De Valere, and he said, said, oh, you won't bring old long coat's name into this house. Yeah, yeah. And um, Willie had shot up to him, oh, I'm very sorry, Mr. Churchill, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and he sh shut down, and, oh, good night, Mr. De Valere. And yeah, you know, yeah. And oh, well, long coat, yeah. I know, and he said, I won't bring yeah. old long coat's name into this house. Yeah. And I know on the street <laughs> as well, but I'm not really sure about this, there, there were some families who were considered um, Redmondites, and then there were ones who were considered in Fain, you know. Mm. Um, Marty was I IRA. Marty was, yeah, yeah. yeah he was belonged yeah. to IRA. For example, you know, ex British, you know, people that went off to fight in the Second World War. Or First, First World, World War, War, yeah. Our grandfather fought in the, in the what do you call that name? Uh, his sons were killed. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, we have some uncles on our, our, our grandmother's side who are, were, are buried in France, you know. And the Psalm, and, they and that, the Psalm. And the Psalm, and, and one in Alexandria. Alexandria. Another relation yeah. uh, in Alexandria. And Katty and Nelly O'Mara, who were next door to us, you know, and they, they were older ladies at the time. Katty married a, a Scottish Scotsman, man, yeah. right? Considine was her name, was his name. And um, he, he was killed on a merchant ship, wasn't mm -hmm. that right? in the First World War. Now, she was only 21. They weren't long married. And she used to have a beautiful portrait she in did. the thing where she's standing and in, in like, like thinking of him, in the side was a, a picture of him, you know. And her song was, I Belong to Glasgow. She used to sing that. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, he was a, 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 a Scotsman. And um, that, and so, so I suppose we'd, we'd hear those little bits of yeah. uh, things. But, um, I, I know that you know Esther and all those were Redmondites, but my, my father was more de Valera as, well, mm. as uh, well, and they used to tease him about going to England to work, you know, and all of this, when they'd be annoyed with him. And I say, oh, you could go to England and you took the king's work. shin. You, you didn't mind taking the king's shin. Yeah, yeah, and he'd be really annoyed. <coughs> yeah, but um, yeah, just little things like like that. Mm. Yeah. And what jobs did your dads or mums do, or and your uncles or anything? Yeah. Paddy worked, Uncle Paddy worked down in Connolly's pub. He used to bottle the beer. Yeah. Joseph worked in the paper mills yes. and he also, no, he worked in the paper mills, wasn't yeah. it? He worked. And your dad worked dad in England worked and in India, my father worked yeah. all during the war in England, in Wales and in England too, in the mines and what have you. Yeah. And my, my our father. uncles. When we come home from England, then he, he, he got some work in a place called um, Swan Plastics. And then he, he got some work in the jewel factory and worked there for a long time. After he finished his working life in, in the glass factory, but he was in the jewel factory. And our Aunt Esther worked there as, as well. And um, my, my mum worked in the radio factory that was in Ferrybank, I think. Oh, was it pie or something like that and then she worked in in swifts which originally was up in short course 
and she also worked then in um, in Swifts when it was over across at the end of Stephen the Street. The Dallas doing House the, the furniture and, and, that. My mom. and then both our our mothers who worked as cleaners in the Dallas Alice School. Yeah. When cleaning was cleaning and there was yeah. no electric yeah. things at all to be done yeah. by hand. But Esther was a long time in the in the chip factory. <coughs> she wasn't was, she yeah. Had, yeah. She worked in the second bag place before Forest, that. Yeah. yeah. And that and was it, done on yeah. the up where Cherry's Brewery was, it was somewhere yeah. up around there. Yeah. Oh. And my mother used to talk about making the wrappers. Do you remember that? And I yeah. think that was from the original sack and bag thing where they were making kind of, I suppose they were like sacks for, for meat or something, but they were they were making them out of that. And um, then a lot of people got jobs in Denny's sack and bag from mm. there. My aunt Peggy now did. And um, yeah, those were the kind of things they they did really. I suppose factory work a, a yeah, lot really. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was it, yeah. you know. My mother, Mrs. Coffey's that Helen was talking about. My my mother worked there part time when she was about fourteen, delivering the milk. But she used to say, what Helen was saying about measuring it out, that Mrs. Coffey would always say, you know, she'd put in whatever and a tilly for the cat, you know, so there'd be a little bit extra in there for the, <coughs> yeah. for the, the cat. Yeah, oh, was nice. yeah mm. it was nice, yeah. yeah. And um, People were nice back then. Mm. I mean, you might think it's a live in a fairy tale world of sort of thinking, but they were genuinely caring people a, that looked no out for, I mean, I, like I said, um, Colin, I, we only remember my own area, our own area, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I always remember people being kind. Like my mother had to work after my father died, and she was working in the job. Esther took a different shift there, so was that there was Kitty, Michael, and Catherine, and Michael used to go to Kitty's after mm -hmm. school, and Esther would collect him when she'd finish her shift to bring him home. Like you know, when my mother worked at ten o'clock at night or whatever, mm -hmm. she'd come. They had, you know, they did have hard lives. Mm -hmm. In, that it, sense. in some ways, we were kind of protected. Who were? I'd say, you yeah. know, I mean, they just did the best for us and made the best. They and, did. Like clothes wise and that, like you were saying, Helen, they'd pay in weekly to places and yeah, you know, put away stuff for whatever. the Christmas yeah. or whatever. They'd be paying in weekly on yeah. things like yeah. you know, yeah. they're called clubs. But clubs, yeah, yeah. And Helen, you were probably the first <coughs> in this area to get college, weren't you? Yeah, um, to go to I, university. I would, where I would say, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, I mean, would that was say. a big achievement, wasn't it, at the time? It was, but I, I don't know if it's a big achievement, but like it would have been unusual at the time, you know, and of course it's when those university grants came out that it made it possible for people like me to be able to do something like that, you know, because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to, to uh, afford it. But, you know, I mean, education was valued really by our families, generally and I I remember in, in my own house I like my my both my mum and my dad they used to say poetry, you know. And it might have been the same poem but I remember one was something about Robin Redbreast and they said, The trees are Indian princes, but now they've turned to ghosts. And that was a change from autumn to winter. That was daddy's kind of one. And mammy then had one that she did at school called Do They Dare, Do They Dare to Slay Own Roe Neil? <laughs> you know, him they slew with poison, <coughs> him they could me. not kill with steel, or something like that, you know. But I remember those things. And, you know, books were very mm. important. And our Aunt Esther was, was a great a, reader. Oh my God, she was know, an avid reader, yeah. So th those kind of things were important. And then I suppose I used to see those films where they were going to college in America and I said I want some of that <laughs> you know so there was there, there, I, I was always supported and anything like that I wanted to do you know and um, yeah the influence but, of the American cinema uh, of course yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but we but, lived at cinema yeah and yeah. that's the same and as Helen's worked dad in, just say if life was only, only like, like the movies, movies. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But um, but Anti Esther, Esther I, worked Esther in the Jude that. factory. I mean, she was on shift work, like Helen said, and she'd work one time from eight till three, wasn't it? And then the next week from the three, three to, to ten. ten. But on the eight to three shift, right, we were at the cinema practically every second afternoon. You know when the films would change then every third day, and Esther would bring us down and um, on a Saturday then and, and Sunday and, you know, going to the evening shows, um, 
I'd be waiting about quarter to eight for the knock on the door from Helen to come up and say we're going, come on down. Yeah. And and I remember it had Connie. a little window on the stairs yeah. and she said, look out and see if there's much of a queue because she could see the back of the <laughs> Regina and the back of the Savoy there. And if there was a queue, we'd be saying, we'd be saying sometimes would the rosary ever finish that we get down? And, and you have Mr. Cunningham, Cunningham was a man that worked in the cinema, like Mr. Forrestal and that they worked. And when he'd see my, our Aunt Esther and us, he'd say, we just walk down and he'd say, stand back there and let that woman in. She's keeping us in our job. <laughs> she was there so often. Yeah. <laughs> there so yeah. often. Stand back there. He'd put him out of the way. And they might be standing for about an hour to see it. Yeah. Go in and see the, the film, like, you know, this woman is keeping us in our jobs. But, but she surrounded up everybody, didn't she? Oh, she did. I remember she had the first television in the, on the, in the street type thing. Um, and she, she was a kind, caring, gen, over generous woman. Mm. And she'd say, Go up and get the Barks and the Ryans, and that. And she'd have them all sitting on the fender in the, where the television was. And she'd be cutting up apples, apples. Yeah. and watching, kind of giving them all while they'd be watching the television. She was, she was lovely. Mm. She was a, you know. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but one of the things I remember, and, and, and it's Christmas time, oh. and we all went to Midnight Mass in St. Patrick's, it was real Midnight Mass, and I don't know, maybe it's memory or whatever, but it always seemed to be frosty, and you'd be coming up that hill, and Esther lived on the terrace there, the third house in, and the stars would be like little diamond dots in the sky, and Esther had the red candle in the window lighting. You know, and I always remember the that. the table set with yeah, the ham and ham stuff and cut up for And then you, that night. when you go home, that mum would be cooking the ham, and you'd remember the smell of the, the ham, you know, for Christmas the next day. And had, Esther had a big sauce from that she used to share out with people so that they could boil the ham because it was quite, quite big. And the, the other thing was she had little glasses that oh, size. I, yeah. Yeah. I gave them all one. And, um, and they had scenes from Killarney. There's someone brought them back to her. So yeah, Irish present, scenes, anyway. Yeah. Now, they, there are what we'd know today as shot glasses, but we didn't know that. Whisk. But when we go to the cowboy films, <laughs> cowboys would go into the bar and they'd ask for whiskey and they'd get them in this little glass. And the lads and us used to say, we want the cowboy, cowboy glasses. glasses. And she'd put in the lemonade and we'd pretend we were drinking, drinking the, the, uh, the cowboy uh, the whiskey. Yeah. And, and she'd only let you show us them at Christmas. Christmas yeah, she put the lemonade yeah, in. Yeah. So, you know, we think we were just cowboys yeah. drinking. The and thing. then Christmas night, we'd all go to Esther's house. And then, you know, there were songs and their singing, would, we'd have a bit of that. And on Stevens's night, they'd usually come to our house yeah, yeah, yeah we don't yeah. up to you yeah so um yeah i suppose with the light of memory you wonder but that's what our memories yeah. are and mm. that's and that's mm. the way we we feel and about that's what we were brought yeah. up and like i said yeah. i think sometimes we were overprotected yeah, yeah. you know yeah. overprotected yeah. and i suppose really what when you know helen's father uh died uh, when they were very young and you know, her mum had to work. And then when my mum had to go and, and work as, as well, I suppose there was a little bit of consciousness that, you know, money was needed, that kind of thing. And, um, you know, but apart from that, we, I we know, survived. We have good childhoods. And, we survived. You know, I never remember. I don't remember. You know, like some people say, oh, it was poor and it was a bad time. And it was this, to me, it was a good time. It was mm. a great time. Mm. Mm. Perhaps not when I met Frankie, and he used to come in here for his um, intellectual discussions and books, Jack Kerouac and all the rest of them. Mm. And um, he used to say, Neil, when are you getting the top, the top, top to his father? Uh, when are you getting the top of the pops on was on at the time, like, you know? And he was saying, I don't know, I'll have to get around herself <laughs> to get it in. Because if, and there was all intellectuals. And there's, there were dockers, there were mm. fellas that never worked in their life. And they'd be sitting down there, but my God, were they intelligent men. Mm -hmm. yeah. They'd be sitting there with their, you know, talking about Jack Kerouac and all the, the, the beat poets and the, you know, on the, what, exchanging books, mm -hmm. you oh, know. We have to mention Paddy Ryan. Yes. That's why I'm yeah. saying about Paddy Ryan. Paddy, and Paddy Ryan was like a book, book uh, he was like the library one. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. what I'm saying, they'd be exchanging books yeah. and what I'm have sure you. You're you know, Frank used to love... He was saying he was only uh, 16 at the time and he used to come in here and he'd have his, his pint or whatever, drink. And um, he'd um, books and discussing poetry and books and, you know, 
was great. He was he nearly cried. Half the street crit nearly cried when you closed the pub. <laughs> yeah, I swear true. to God yeah. they did because people said, Where yeah. the, the men and I said, Jesus, where are we going now that Neil is after closed? Mm. You know? Yeah. And there was do you know it was great banter here. Yeah. You know, with your mum and your dad and you'd be all here as well. Mm. You know, there was great times. It was like, like, club it, was, it was like yeah. a, a men's yeah. club, gentlemen's club. Yeah. <laughs> and this is, and when we'd come up, then um, do you know if the odd there'd be something? Maybe I don't know what it would be. Yeah. Maybe after a funeral or something. Yeah. And um, your mum would say, "Oh no, you're looking to." We'd go upstairs. We'd be sitting upstairs. <laughs> you know what I mean? She'd have yeah. us sitting upstairs. The women, like Esther yeah. and the, my mother and Katie, and I would be sitting upstairs. You know, mm-hmm. and your mother's ac- accent. I always says, I always remember going into. Oh, people opened each other's doors was, then. Yeah, yeah. They didn't knock. There was always keys in the door and your mother went, Kitty, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> her lovely northern accent. accent yeah. 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 Oh, sure, they were great. And on, the, on this this street, the first television was here as well in, yeah. in your pub and we were brought in then to to see it. And, and the first colour one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So but you were rich. The World Cup. Well, you were the rich. The, the Breslins were rich. <laughs> Oh, Rich in everything. I want to get you outside as well, just from the point of view of... Um, Not playing ball, no. Yeah, right, just, just maybe, just, I have a couple of balls. Oh, I got them. After you the should have told us a way to practice. <laughs> just to show us how the games were played. Okay. You don't want to do anything, but it shows. And then also the knocks, just, just quickly with a few stones. Have yeah. your stones? Yeah, we'll get a few stones. I have so much and if anyone sees, we'll be shipped immediately. <laughs> the keepers, as my mother used to say, the keepers will come down and take us away. <laughs> but they're lovely. Nice. That was great. Oh, thank you, Colin. It was good to I'm, I'm relive gonna, the memories. I, I, I'll, be, uh, I'll be a dreaming tonight. Nostalgia. <laughs> um, I hope now that you got our good side and that... Um, you know when you were saying the the songs that you used to sing for the skipper rope and that? Mm. Would you remember the full verses of it? Would you be able to give us a rendition of that? We were talking about um. Did it cost you extra? Yeah, we were talking about teaching <laughs> them to other kids and trying to get the kids to reenact. <coughs> yeah, what my grandchildren can say them now. You know, mm, they can. My grandchildren can say them. Yeah, but did you the just, just do do one? Is the audio still running? Yeah, I, the, okay, what, was so, the, what was the one? Well, just do, do a couple of them. My voice. Do, the do a skipper one first, right? Skip so skip one. One. Teddy bear, teddy bear, tip the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. Teddy bear, teddy bear, run up the stairs. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say your prayers. Teddy bear, teddy bear, switch off the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Good night. <laughs> and then you'd run out of the rope then. <laughs> and then what was the... Um, was there, was there, was there any with skipping ones that had kind of politics in it? Like, was something about Devil Air or something about... Well, oh yeah, there was vote, vote, vote for devil. That was the so skipping thing. Skip you know, this was kick Teddy Lynch out the that's door. Course. That's another and one. on top of Priory's knock, yeah, you that's can the knock. hear the something know. rock, and they won't get into trouble anymore. Hey, it's a ball ones. Give us a ball ones. Plainly, Mrs. Brown. Plainly, Mrs. Brown. Plainly, 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 Mrs. Brown. Over Mrs. Brown, over Mrs. Brown, over, 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 over Mrs. Mrs. Brown. Brown. It was on for a long time. Do you oh. want to continue? Under, <laughs> under, Mrs. Brown, under, under Mrs. Brown, under Mrs. Brown. It was under your leg, Mrs. Brown. Under, 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 under Mrs. Brown. Um, upsy Mrs. Mrs. Brown, upsy Mrs. Mrs. Brown, upsy, 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 upsy Mrs. Brown. Dashy Mrs. Brown, dashy Mrs. Brown, dashy, 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 dashy Mrs. Brown. Um, what was that? Then there was two twirly. balls, Mrs. Twirly. Well, you have to twirly, twirly Mrs. Brown, twirly when you around. turn around and twirly, catch Mrs. the balls Brown. that come back to <laughs> Twirly, twirly and all that. And then um, two balls, Mrs. Brown. Yeah. What was that? I don't know what you did with that, but anyway, they were, they were the okay. skipping. Uh, the uh, any other ones then? All the ones with Oh, the other one too, we were playing was Queenie, Queenie. Oh, oh yeah, has the ball. Has the ball. Queenie, yeah. Queenie, Queenie. Is she big or is she, she small? small? See, I haven't got, got it. See, I haven't got, got it. Queenie, Queenie, who has a ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bridget, can you remember any? 
Oh, no, no, no. I can only remember what they're doing. Queen the Queen, yeah. Can you remember the Queenie one? Yeah. 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 What else? Well, there's the skipping ones, because there's loads the, of skipping ones. There was loads of skipping ones. I think we'd have to and be skipping ones. And that's all in the other girls, that thing. Tilly and the whole loop of top. What was that kind of oh, an Irish yeah. thing? Do you remember? Yeah. Tilly and the whole loop of top. Yeah, that was Irish. Yeah, yeah. 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 Go on. Yeah. That was it. That was just it. Yeah. There was nothing. Tilly on. Tilly on the whole yeah. loop, a dog a mock. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was. Hopscotch. What was the hopscotch? I know, that was, I think. What's that? That came in later. Exactly. Exactly. What was it? Hopscotch. Hopscotch, oh yeah. Or beddies, I suppose. Beddies. We used to call it. We used to say beddies. We used to call it beddies. Yeah. It was yeah, the same thing. Yeah. Beddies. Yeah. 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 Did you play the one with the elastic on your legs? No, that was one. No. Chinese Younger ones than us now. The only yeah. elastics that had on our leg were the knickers wooden. that were bought for us. <laughs> the, yeah, that nearly cut the circle. Get me down up above Chinese your knee. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. And your leg, your, the, the circulation, how <laughs> we were left with limbs <laughs> beyond me. And we weren't all oh, at artificial no. legs. <laughs> God help. Yeah. Our poor parents, they were the best in Ireland, the best <laughs> in the world. Yeah. That was the only yeah, elastic we had on our legs. Okay, all well, in together, girls. Is that one? Oh, that was it. Yeah. All, all in together, together girls. girls. Never mind the weather, weather girls. girls. Put your hat and coat, coat on. Tell, tell your mother you won't be long. When I count six, six do your, your tricks. tricks. When I count eight, shut the, the gate. gate. When I count no. ten, start again. again. Yeah. That was another skip. And doing one. the tricks is what not what they call what they're doing tricks. <laughs> they're what they say for <laughs> tricks. We didn't know. We didn't know. Even gay, when we said gay years ago, was that people were happy. happy yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's the one thing I'm delighted for, that things like that change, prejudice, prejudices like that change. Although I never remember hours of prejudice, yeah, being prejudiced no. about um, people's skin colour or their, because a friend of mine, Michael Sullivan, um, he was gay. And we used to go to dance, Irish dance, and classes together, myself and himself. I used to dye his hair. And um, he used to come over to the house and, they were mad about it. There was never any. Um, I'd, I'd say that they were. Uh, our families were. Well, my mother, anyway, and uh, they were, to be kind of in a. Not in a, in a, I'm saying this in a nice way, ignorant about things like that. They would have said, like, he was like, girl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Do you know yeah, that kind yeah. of a thing? But they were mad about him. They loved him. But uh, there was never no about. Um, I never remember any kind of prejudice yeah. about. Mm -hmm people mm. like you know only that if you'd be struck dead if you walked into the protestant church yeah you'd be struck <laughs> down dead couldn't do that if yeah. you went in put your foot even inside and just because you'd be passing you'd be sort of <laughs> struck down dead you'd be taught yeah go into the protestant church so they didn't care about homosexuality <laughs> or um or um colored or the concept, no so, yeah. just yeah. you'd be struck dead if you went into the protestant church right. and then remember they used to talk about the jew man yeah, Esther is the jewel man that was up in them, the lane, up in them. Up by Tom and Anne's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was he, Duffy Wilson? Duffy Wilson. Wilson. Yeah. He was great pals with Esther now. Yeah. And the women, uh, yeah. see, um, not so much Esther would have been younger than them. Um, Mary Whitty and um, Alice Barden and all those. They used to go out to the Tubs of Blood, it was called, place they yeah. used to go. They used to walk out hundreds of miles and they used to go to, go to a dance. Out at, where would it be now? Out by Balnamona. Um, and the buckets of blood was down, down, was it? down somewhere around George Street area, and it was it seemingly us soldiers would go there and there'd be fights, Fight. and that's why it was called buckets of blood or tubs of blood. Tubs, tubs, tubs of, of blood. blood. Tubs that's of what. Blood. And what about other any other characters that used to be around at that time? Like, you know, like Ghost Carol. Who's that? They used to call him uh, that. He had a. Uh, he was had. Uh, he had. Um, uh, his poor face was kind of a bit twisted, and he kind of walked with a. And God forgive us, we used to say that and he you. Here's Ghost Carl. My mother or Esther or any of my uncles would be saying, Did you get a slap in the ear? Mm -hmm. There was him. His father was the last man hanged in, uh, up in the barracks. Mm -hmm. um, well, who else was there now? Oh, Johnny, what's his name? You stick pins in you. Oh, yeah. Johnny yeah. Lane Bones. Johnny Lane Bones. Yeah. Yes, he was he used to leave him out of um, St. Austin's. No, he was yeah, kind of. Yeah. But if he saw a girl passing around like that, he used to stick pins in their bums. 
little prince, yeah, Annie yeah. Chase or something. Chase, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And who else can I remember? And there was Monkey Tricks. Monkey Tricks. <laughs> yeah. And Hannah Mooney. Hannah Mooney, yeah. She was a, a traveller. And yeah. she'd be drunk and she'd fall in the street or she'd do a pee in the street. And, there was and, a woman too, a guy who said there loads of dogs. Oh, I, don't remember. I remember the dog with the ropes that we used to say hanging out. Do you remember that dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't remember anyone okay. else. Other than, and ankle socks. Remember ankle socks. Her? She was yeah. another lady who used to go around. Lady of the night. Yeah, yeah. How oh, would you know what oh, she wait, did? I didn't know that. No, but she, she, she just told me that. that ankle socks. I couldn't what? make the feel... People say ankle socks, and she doesn't really look Johnny. So she doesn't wear ankle socks. But that's what she was uh, known as. It was like when I got older. Yeah. yeah. Would People would say. Actually, on that subject about the docks, do you ever remember going down around the docks? I'm not talking about. I'm talking about like even like the. The, the chocolate crumb. The chocolate yeah, crumb. Oh, God, yeah. That. We yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, and there yeah. could have been rats. We could have got boils, disease, <laughs> or beals, disease, or whatever it's called. We just pick it up. Put it into paper yeah. and bring it home. We'd eat it. Yeah. So it was the chocolate the crumbs ships. coming in off yeah. the boats. Yeah. Yeah. Or or Ben or Walter, Sanders. Mm -hmm. They were dockers. They'd bring it up in a big, a bag, and everyone would get a bit. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And when uh, we, we were in in Sister Charity on Parnell Street, and we'd often walk down as far as Reginald's Tower. Tower. Yeah. And that's where the boats that's where the would boats come in with the chocolate get crumb. The chocolate crumb, and yeah. then on on the other side, then the cattle be the be cattle loaded. boats. Yeah. And the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the ladies yeah. of the evening, as we, yeah. after it be, you know. And my, my mother's uncle was called Billy Flynn, he was called Dalter. And they used to have a, a story that uh, he worked on the docks. And you know the way, it wouldn't be a permanent job, he'd like be employed for a few days. And casual whatever, work. And the casual work. And the boss fella said to him anyway, you know, come on now, Billy, you need to do a bit of work. And he said, well, I'm going to have my lunch because an empty sack can't stand. So he had his lunch and after lunch then he still was sitting down and the fellow said, what about now? He said, a full sack can't bend. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the they had great um, sayings, like, yeah, you know, yeah. they did have yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Remember a girl, um, they used to say, um, uh, when she was a very tall girl. Hand me down the moon, I'll get the stars myself. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what was the other one? Like that was her nickname. Yeah, if she passed or something, they'd say, because she was so that's tall. That's they'd say, oh, it. here's hand me down exactly. the moon, I'll get the stars yeah. myself. Oh, they wouldn't say it to the girl's face or yeah. that. When she'd gone, they'd say, oh, here's hand me down the moon, I'll get the stars myself. <laughs> and uh, Esther had great ones, didn't she? Yeah, she did, yeah. That. <laughs> no, we've lost the torch, That kind of thing. Hey, baby, Mrs. Brown. Over Mrs. Brown. And you're very good. Over Mrs. Brown. Dashy. Mrs. Brown. Dashy, 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 Mrs. Brown. Oh my god, it must and be. These would go on for hours now. Uh, hours. 50. Hours. 50. Three years since I did something like that. <laughs> Come here.